This missile was produced for Soissons in France in the third quarter of the 13th century. Missiles are liturgical books containing the sung and spoken parts of the Christian Mass. This volume contains one elaborate full-page miniature of the crucifixion, 22 engaging historiated initials in colours and burnished gold with full-length board decorations including grotesques, human faces and animals, 19 large decorated initials with elaborate penwork, as well as penwork initials in red and blue with lush marginal pen flourishes on every single page. The survival of 13th century missiles with this extravagant level of decoration is extremely rare. Usually read at an altar and seen by a few people, missiles seldom had many decorations. In this respect, our book is truly exceptional. The accomplished illuminations in this manuscript are by an artist called Vincent Master, who worked for patrons in Soissons, Laon and Nyon. Named after two volumes of Vincent de Beauvoir's Speculum Naturale, he is also responsible for prestige commissions outside of his home territory. The 22 elegant historiated initials are executed in two slightly different ways. Five miniatures present scenes against a burnished gold background with bold colours and expressive faces. The majestic crucifixion is presented as a full-page composition. The Vincent Master was responsible for the elegant central illustration, while the elaborately decorated margins are by a different hand. Christ hangs on a delicate orange cross flanked by the Virgin and John the Evangelist. The border around the crucifixion miniature consists of spiralling, twisted ivy tendrils in which two hybrid creatures with human faces and two dragons lounge. These historiated initials depicting scenes from the Mass itself and the martyrdoms of saints are fantastic examples of the fine work of the Vincent Master who painstakingly draws hair and facial features with a fine brush. Garments and textiles are designed in the Vincent Master's same graphic manner. His coloured draperies, however, are carefully shaded in nuances of the base colour, and only the deepest folds are indicated with dark brushstrokes. The slender and flexible figures, elongated in the typical Gothic manner, are outlined with strong contours. This is a truly spectacular example of French work of this early period, where the illuminations by the Vincent Master combine Cambrian and Parisian influences. For more information about this manuscript, please contact Dr. Jörn Günther Rarebooks.